Hey YouTubers! Welcome back to Nime Tutorials. In this video I'm going to cover how to download and install Nime. I'm also going to cover some workspace basics and things to keep in mind. So let's get started! To download Nime, go to Nime.com. Click on Software, then scroll down. We are going to be installing Nime Analytics Platform today, not Nime Server. Beneath the Nime Analytics Platform header, click Download. This will bring you to a registration page where you'll enter your information and make some selections around newsletters and getting updates. Once you've completed the form, you will click Submit. Once you've clicked Submit, the download page will load. On this page, you select the version of Nime you would like to download – Windows, Linux, or Mac OS. If you're downloading for Windows, you have three primary options, with sub-options being 32-bit or 64-bit versions. Your primary Windows options include an executable that you'll need account control to install, or zip files that allow you to run Nime without account control but might need some additional configuration. In this video, I'll show you how to download and install Nime for macOS. Installing for Windows is very similar, and if you want me to make a video showing the Windows installation process, just let me know in the comments. At this point, just select the version you would like, and it will begin to download. A note here, if for some reason you require an older version of Nime, Scroll to the bottom of the page and select the link next to, if you are interested in a previous version of Nime Analytics Platform, please click. You'll enter the reason why you need an older version, enter your email, and you will be presented with a page of previous versions of Nime to select from. Once your download is complete, point to your download location and open the file. There really aren't many steps at all and the installation is very straightforward. On macOS, I'll just drag Nime to my Applications folder. Once Nime has been placed into my Applications folder, I will open it for the first time. The workspace in Nime is where all of your workflow files are kept. Essentially, this is the location on your computer where all the projects you work on in Nime are stored. Knowing where this folder is located is important. On Windows, the default workspace folder is at C, Users, and then whatever your username is on your Windows machine, your workspace will be in a folder under that username folder. On Mac OS, it's under Users, and then your username, and then a folder under that username folder. Once you set your default workspace, you will be asked if you want to use it as your default and not get asked again about it. You can always switch your workspace later from inside of Nime if you accidentally check the box here. Upon opening Nime for the first time or opening Nime in a new workspace, you're asked about data sharing. On a fresh install of Nime, you'll be asked first where you want your default workspace stored and then about the data sharing. Once Nime is loaded, you are presented with the default workspace layout. As you make changes to this workspace and configure how each panel looks, that configuration data is saved in your workspace so your settings are saved. If you create a new workspace, these settings are not saved and you will see the default layout again. This will make more sense as we discuss the Nime workspace further. The Nime workspace is where you build your workflows and interact with your data. Starting on the top left, you see the Nime Explorer. The Nime Explorer shows you workflows from your workspace location, what you designated earlier, in addition to example workflows from the Nime Hub. Below that, you will see the Workflow Coach. The Workflow Coach is a really neat feature of Nime that will recommend the most likely nodes based on community recommendations. So if you're building out a workflow and you have a node on your workspace, you can look into the workflow coach to see what nodes might come after the node that you're already using if you don't know what should come next. 
Next, you see the node repository. This is where you access the different nodes that represent various actions that you can take on your data. When we get into workflow design, I will cover this in much greater detail. There are about 2,000 nodes available to NIME, and they are organized by category here and searchable. In the middle of the screen, you have your workflow workspace. By default, you see the NIME welcome screen. As you create workflows, they will show up here in a tabbed format. Inside of the welcome screen are links to the NIME hub, NIME courses for additional learning, and the NIME community. Below that, you have your workflow outline. This can be really helpful when you have very large workflows and want an overview to assist in navigating them. Beside the outline, you have the console. The console will provide details about executing nodes, provide workflow error details, and the location of your log file for further troubleshooting workflow problems if necessary. Finally, on the far right, you have the description panel. This will come in handy as you learn NIME because it provides details on the nodes that you are using and in some cases links to further learning. Below that, there is a NIME Hub search panel that allows you to search, for example, workflows in the ever-growing NIME Hub. So that's how you install NIME and a quick introduction to the NIME workspace. Thanks for watching and let me know what you think in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorial videos.